I wanted to take a few moments to share a little about who I am and why I prep. There are a lot of people that will see this video and some are from the prepping community while others may be thinking about getting started with prepping and still some may just happen by for the entertainment. Either way, there's a little something for everyone. First, a little about me. I'm a veteran. I live in the central Florida area with my wife, two adult daughters, and son-in-law. I served 20 years in the military and had the honor to travel the world. My family and I lived both overseas and here at home in the United States. All of this travel and some of the places we have lived has given me a unique perspective on how people around the world live and conduct their lives. Now our religious faith has taught us to be self-reliant, meaning to have the necessary supplies on hand to take care of ourselves in the event of turbulent times and not to rely on the government as so many people do. The concept of self-reliance has been taught for well over a hundred years in my religion. Some members of our faith take it very seriously while others have not embraced the idea. My family and I didn't start to seriously prep until a couple of years ago. Sure, we always had a good supply of short shelf life foods. We have always had an extended pantry where we had a little extra that we could survive for a month or two if needed. But that is all we had. We didn't have water storage or a means to clean and purify water. No medical supplies beyond a basic first aid kit. We didn't have toiletries or cleaning supplies or medications for an extended period. We didn't have a way to cook beyond the stove in the kitchen or one small bottle of propane for the barbecue grill. No generator for electricity and only a couple of small flashlights with no extra batteries. We only had a very basic means to defend ourselves and no real plans on how to react or know what to do in the event a crisis struck at a moment's notice. No prepared 72 hour kit or bug out bag or get home bags. Prepping had been on my mind for several years. It was something we needed to do, but we didn't always have the space or budget to do it. As a military family, we moved often and it just didn't seem feasible to prep and then have to move all those extra supplies every couple of years. But the reality is, there was a lot we could have done much sooner. A 72 hour kit doesn't take much space and can be assembled over time with just a little here and just a little there. Developing skills takes time but very little space and money, so more time could have been dedicated to learning more. Working through different scenarios in your mind helps to develop plans and plans are probably the most important step above all because if you don't have plans you have nothing. So a couple of years before the pandemic I kept having a strong impression upon my mind that we should prep. We had finally settled down and were no longer moving around. I had space to work with and could fit a little prepping into my budget, but I still didn't. Then around the end of January 2020, I heard on the news about the big V over in you know where. And at that time they were just starting to report how badly it was spreading. It was like an alarm bell going off in my head. I immediately recognized how vulnerable we were to any crisis and certainly a prolonged event. I knew that this V was going to come to the United States and that it was going to cause a real disruption. I could just feel it. So the next morning I went to Costco and started my preps. I purchased one of many of the things I thought we needed. The next day I went back and did it again. Over the course of the next few weeks, I would either go to the grocery store or to Costco and buy a little each time. I did it so not to draw attention to myself or to start a panic. And I did it in a way as to not hoard and buy all that was there. I was sure to leave plenty. If I wanted four of something and there was only two left, I only took one. Each time I went out, I watched to see what other people were buying. Initially, they didn't seem to be any unusual activity. But after about a week, I started to see shopping carts full of items that just didn't look like a normal shopping trip. Then another week later, it was on. Canned foods, toilet paper, and other necessities started to fly off the shelves. By this time, we had what we needed to sustain ourselves for several months. But I didn't stop there. I kept prepping because there was still much more that needed to be done. I started purchasing more self-defense tools and accessories. We continued to buy food, prepared water storage, and learned how to clean and purify water. So fast forward now almost two years. My family is in a much better position. We still don't have everything we need. We still don't have a one year food storage, but we continue to work on it. Over the last two years, we have seen a lot come our way. 
Not only the big V, but civil unrest, natural disasters, supply chain disruptions, political unrest, corruption, challenges to our freedoms, an impending economic crisis, and so much more. It's not going to stop. Things will never be the way they used to be. Certainly, some things needed to change. But I feel we are now speeding towards a cliff. There is no turning around, and soon we will go over the edge. And that is when the SHTF really happens. The fact is, SHTF has already started. Many don't recognize it because it's like a slow boil. We don't realize it's happening until it's too late. Considering for a moment all that we have been through the last two years, each thing in itself was shocking. But over time, we became numb, and now nothing seems surprising. As we move forward, I suspect we could see a more severe outbreak of deadly diseases, a complete economic collapse, a complete breakdown of our national grid and other utilities, or even a complete breakdown in society where there's no longer a rule of law or anyone to enforce it. For me, nothing is off the table. That is why I prep. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Let me know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.